We are here today to celebrate Breast Reconstruction Awareness Day so that we can spend some time with you, not in the office, not in the operating room, but here in the social center. And what we're doing today is celebrating your journey, your passion, your commitment, your survivorship. I'm Dana Donabry. I'm the founder of Ana Ono, where we say boob inclusive lingerie. Two boobs, one boob, no boobs, or new boobs. We are here to support you. So thank you all for coming out. We are at Penn Medicine's Bra Day. Which is Breast Reconstruction Awareness Day. It was a day that was established by our main plastic surgery society, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. And it was to recognize the importance that breast reconstruction plays in the total recovery of the breast cancer patient. 12 years ago, a lot of patients didn't even know that breast cancer reconstruction was an option after a mastectomy. So this day was coined to make sure that everybody knew that there were options and choices after they removed their breasts from breast surgery. Could be aesthetic flat closure, could be implant reconstruction, flap reconstructions. There's so many options available today. So I like to think of Brawl Day as a way to impact and empower patients to know their options and make choices that are best for themselves and their bodies. I went through chemotherapy, I went through surgery, I went through radiation, and I had another reconstruction, again with my same tissue by Dr. Suetti. I was diagnosed with DCIS, an invasive ductal carcinoma, in the left breast when I was 32 years old. I went through 14 rounds of chemo, I had a bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction. It wasn't a matter of if, but when. It's certainly a celebration of getting to where I am two years out from my diagnosis. I would highly encourage women and men to always make sure that your health is up to date and that you're getting your checkups. To learn from women that have walked this path before me. To be here with one another, it's just an incredible feeling. 